Jones in a tight end, and they'll swing it to the near side. Chad Owens, a man to beat. He does. Touchdown. Second and ten. Glenn throwing. And that run is intercepted. Pacino horned. Inside the clock. Touchdown. The franchise with the most Canadian football titles. And there is Milanovic. The Toronto Argonauts have won the historic 100th. I'm not happy. Still not happy with that result. It's, it's 24 hours later almost. I'm still not happy that the Argos won. But I will say this. Congratulations to the Boatmen for their win. And you heard it here last Thursday on Byline. John Gormley from John Gormley Live. Uh, he called it, didn't he? He said Ricky Ray will do amazing work. He will lead the Argos to victory. And that's what happened. Uh, Ricky Ray and Cashard. I mean, they were unstoppable. But... No one's talking about the Argos' win. All the buzz is about Justin Bieber and the fact that the Biebs was booed during the halftime show. Uh, is that the only social media buzz going on out there? Gina Phillips, our social media reporter and Calgary Stan Peters fan, joins me now. Uh, Gina, before we get into the whole bit about the Biebs being booed, uh, let's <laughs> talk about this now. I mean, you're, you're a Calgary gal. You were there in your Stan Peters jersey, I believe, a little bit upset at the end of the night. Yeah, I, I was. I was all decked out. I was one of the most pumped up fans. Uh, I was surrounded by Argos players. <laughs> they were all giving me a hard time the entire game. Oh my goodness. And I was sitting with some Saskatchewan fans. They were not cheering for Calgary. <laughs> And yeah, so, you know, I mean, that's why I wasn't cheering for, for the Argos. I mean, uh, it's regional rivalry. A Ticat absolutely. fan, I can't cheer for the Argos, so I'll go for the Stamps. Riders fans? They can't cheer for your, your team. I though. know. And I, it's weird because I half kind of expected them to. And then I got there and I went, of course they're not going to cheer for the Stamps. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there was a ton of Argos fans. I, and the Stampeders uh, fans looked pretty bummed out. Uh, uh, so g give, me, uh, give me quickly your thoughts on going to the Grey Cup and, uh, and what that experience is like. Because uh, I've never been. It, yeah. It's one of the big uh, events in Canada. I've never made it out to the game. Um, had family members go. They tell me it is an amazing time regardless of where it's held. It was incredible. And I think it was really special for me just because, you know, I moved to Toronto uh, just a few years ago. Uh, born and raised in Calgary. My, my parents are a huge fan of CFL. Uh, we've always been, you know, rooting for Calgary teens and that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, I came to this city and just experiencing the Grey Cup and having Toronto play Calgary, it was just the ultimate experience. And I was invited really last minute by friends. I thought I wasn't going to go. And uh, all of a sudden, there I was. And, uh, and, and I, you got to meet a big guy. Let's show the picture of some important fellow you met while you were there. A guy I might have met once. <laughs> You ran into him in the in the hallways. Well, what are the out. chances? Honestly, uh, it was so cool. I've never met the prime minister uh, ever before. And there he was sitting in the stands. He was taking pictures with everybody. Uh, yeah, met him in the hallway. And uh, I just said, wow, you know, great yeah. to meet you. I'm For the rest fan. of your life, you got a picture of you, the prime minister, and, and, and the uh, the piping uh, that yes, they but... try and hide going in the background. It's just really so you can nice tell background. everyone it's a classy location you met him at. There's... <laughs> There's pipes hanging down. Uh, let, hey, okay. hey, at least I wasn't wearing my overalls like Justin Bieber, though, right? Uh, okay, let's throw to the clip of uh, of the Biebs at the halftime show. Girlfriend, girlfriend, you could be my, you could be my girlfriend until the ever wall ends. We could dance to a spin in the twilight. I can be a little bit anything you All right, and Gina, you saw the young ladies up there. They looked excited. There was obviously a lot of cheering for them, but there was a lot of booze as well. I, I, explain this to me, because to me, I look at that and I say, another example, Canadians just don't like success. Uh, okay, but hold, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, the reason why there are so many people surrounding him is because they bring in all of the cheerleaders, 
all of the alumni cheerleaders. I, I and, don't see it. What's the problem here? Oh, well, no, no, okay. There's cheerleaders. What's the problem here? I'm just saying it's not <laughs> like these were like the fans in the stands rushing to go see Justin Bieber. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and do I think that Canadians have a problem with success? I kind of understand what you're trying to get at there, Brian Lilly. But you have to keep in mind, look at this guy. He's Justin Bieber. He, he's wearing a black tank top, for God's sake. I mean. Okay. Let me put it to you this way. If he were uh, a Juno nominee mm -hmm. uh, from Barrie, Ontario, that we'd never heard of uh, and, and didn't have any success in the U.S., right. but was a Juno nominee and supported by our official cultural industry insiders, <laughs> uh, there wouldn't have been any booing. Uh, there wouldn't have been wild cheering, maybe, but they wouldn't have. people wouldn't have booed. That's true. I think Bieber got booed because... He's big in the United States, and Canadians can't stand that. Ten years ago or so, uh, Shania yeah. Twain singing in Edmonton got booed. I, I can tell you, I told people when I got back from Vegas, oh, yeah, I went to see Celine Dion, amazing show. Oh, you went to Celine? We will love our Canadian artists as long as they stay in Canada, right. don't get too big for their britches, uh, don't wear overalls to meet the Prime Minister unless they're the goofy bare naked ladies or something. Uh, but, you know, you get too much success, Canadians turn on you. Okay, but Justin Bieber is easy to make fun of. That's what I'm getting at. I mean, he's a, he's this kid. He's wearing a black tank top. People already make fun of him in the first place. He's an easy target, just like Nickelback. Some people love Nickelback. In Alberta, a lot of people make fun of Nickelback. And people go, oh. the same reason. It's the same reason. Because these guys didn't go on the cultural welfare. They went to the States. They right. made it big. They've sold more albums in the United States than any Canadian artist right. ever, ever. I, and I, they are huge I and they that. are successful. And that's we did the same thing to Brian Adams when he got too big. We did the same thing to Shania, uh, Alanis Morissette. So it doesn't matter what genre. Right. We just don't like it if you're successful. We'd, we'd rather say, uh, you know what, stay in Canada and just be nominated for Juno's meaning nobody ever <laughs> hears of you. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's something to think about, but I still think that these people are easy targets. I mean. The ones that come out of Canada and make it really big are kind of, I don't know, easy to make fun of. I don't well, know when, why. When it's Bieber like the... is uh, is 84, like Gordon Lightfoot, who I love, by the way, he's, you know, oh. I've got his music on my phone. But that was a horrible, isn't it? It, it was. He shouldn't have been playing there it last night. It was a night. snooze fest. Why but, was he playing that song? You oh know, when gosh. he's 84 and his success in the U.S. is long forgotten, if he just keeps playing... Uh, uh, yeah. agricultural fairs in Canada, then we'll accept <laughs> we'll them, love again. them again. Until then, uh, yeah, you know, an agricultural fair with the government grant will love you, but uh, <laughs> success in the U.S., no way. Uh, Gina Phillips, thanks That's so much. Funny. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks, Brian. Send me your thoughts, and of course, one way you can do that, you can drop by lilyspad.ca. More to come.